Good afternoon. Today on Customer States What? Customer States, my defrost is not working. And while you're there, before multi-point inspection, say no more. So we're looking around the vehicle and we could see, oh wait, we have a Napa battery. It's not the legend, but it is a Napa battery. Oh, washer fluids at level. Our steering fluid is looking good. Or at least it's looking at level. Until we get to the brake fluid. Ladies and gentlemen, Shrek has entered the chat. So I did, was able to duplicate the customer's concern. And it is cold out today and defrost. It was not working. So let's take it up top and I'll show you what the issue is. And we'll take a look around. So now that we took it up soft, we're going to look around. Uh, we're going to look around at the flavor. It's 2010, 2011 with damn near 200,000 miles on it. Went on a pre-repair road test and uh, not for nothing, guys. We got a Gugat's ball joint. We got some. Where is it? Right there. See that play? This side, I could feel it. But, oh, yeah, but I can't really see it, so I'm recommending both sides. That's what we're going to do. But the further we get back, believe it or not, the front, yeah, we got a petrified diff, but the frame has been replaced, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like that steering shaft up there has been replaced. The yokes ain't looking too yokey. They're not looking good. But the frame is looking beautiful what's that oozing out you may ask well that's that wax treatment and they got a little sloppy with it but you know what the sloppier the better that is most definitely a giggity very good let's go a little further back guys because you know the further we get back oh not that bad flavor country is pretty bland today in the rear guys <laughs> yeah that's one too we got a little up there. It's looking really good for the age and the mileage. No way is this a northeast car. We got newer brake pads, newer rotors, calipers are... You know, they got a case of the flavors, but uh, I think they might beat it this time, guys. Alright, as for the AC repair... Well, we did put dye in the system, and uh, you don't even need the UV light to see that <laughs> the dye is a pissing out the AC condenser. And you know what we got, guys? We got a pissing AC condenser. Ugh. All right, guys, now that we have our Robin Air R134A machine out, we're gonna go to the vehicle. We have our high side port which is in the grill and we have our low side which is in the engine bay those are the ports that we're going to be accessing now whenever you have to open up the AC system you must discharge it if you do not discharge the AC system before you open it you're going to have a really bad day and in some states it is a major major fine it might actually be all states guys and it's very bad for the environment so please uh, biggest tip of this video man please be aware if you're working with AC system you must properly discharge the system and you could also hurt yourself in the process because it is a pressurized system and it is chemicals you don't want to take a gugats to the face or to the hand or anything so that's why I have gloves on and uh, I do have eye goggles on as well or eye protection alright so let's uh, hook up the machine discharge the system and uh, I might enjoy a snack in the process while it does that all right, so we got the AC system discharged, and I think I'm gonna be able to sneak it out, guys. The rat. I took the two radiator bolt mounts out. We got one over here and one on the other side. And you wanna see what I can do now? Look what I can do. I can move this back enough to where I think I could sneak out that condenser. Or I might have to take out the other bottom bolts Oh no, we'll see you guys. 
Well, there's no easy way at it, guys. I thought I could sneak it out the back. Well, I can now. But the new one, I'm going to run into issues with because the old one had these plastic mounts here, 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 and here. Well, we got them out, no problem, right? Let's go to the new one. The brand new one, unfortunately, has the freaking mounting tabs all a part of them. Here and there. So it's looking like I either have to take the radiator out or I have to totally dismantle or dismount, excuse me, the entire radiator from the body to where I can move it out the way without draining the system. I don't know, guys. Worst case scenario here, I'm going to have to take the radiator out. Great. All right, guys, is CSW going to get lucky? Let's find out. Get this harness out of the way. Now be gentle. You don't want to nick the radiator and then give yourself a coolant leak. Oh, this might work. This might work. Oh! What? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Why? Why the hell did I struggle with the old one so much? I'm... Alright, whatever. I'm gonna roll with it. Good. So something I could recommend to everybody who watches this video or does AC work is to uh, pressurize and leak check the system before you put everything back together. That way, in case you find a leak somewhere, you can take everything back out with minimal stress. Alright, very good guys. Everything is in. Everything is holding pressure. It passed the leak test. I had to clean up some connectors to the horns. I found some corrosion, so we took out our terminal cleaning kit. Now we're going to put the grill together. And I'm actually going to back out the car because I have another car to work on, but, uh, yeah. We can control arms are next. Alright guys, we got the control arms out and, uh, they sucked. We had to cut them out. Once we got the old hardware out, as you can see here, we never got it out of the front ones. The rear ones came out. They were loose. They loosened up, but, uh, yeah. So whenever you put the new ones in, always replace all the eccentrics and booger as much grease as you can on them in here because that's what happens, they seize. Let's finish putting all that in. Alright guys, as you can see here we have the front suspension supported on a screw jack and we have the rear of the vehicle supported on a screw jack for safety and we are compressing the suspension to act as uh, the vehicle has weight on it the reason why is you always want to tighten any suspension components with weight on the vehicle or like this the reason why is you want to put the suspension in its natural position you see how compressed this side is and you see how this side is drooping now if you would tighten those bushings right there and then lower the car you're gonna torque those bushings and you're gonna get premature failure out of those brand new bushings you never want to be premature guys so what we do is you raise the suspension you tighten all the suspension bolts all the eccentrics and uh, since the customer is not paying for an alignment we marked the original position very good. Alright guys, brand new control arms. All torqued down. Brand new AC condenser. AC is ice cold. Alright guys, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for further content.